And basically, I, I, I've been a bit mean, but what it comes down to is a wedding planner's job is to make sure that your wedding is the most expensive thing that ever happens to you. And every time they try and juice you for another few hundred here or another couple of hundred there, which they're always getting kicked back along all the way along the line, every time they try and juice you for that bit more, the clarion cry is always, it's the happiest day of your life. It's the, oh, it's the happiest day of your life. You don't want to scrimp on the happiest day of your life. You, know? you don't want to do that and, right, you don't want to look back and go, we should have done that differently. Not on the happiest day of your life. You give me your warning, it's the happiest day of your life. <laughs> all the little details are all really going to matter on the happiest day of your life. And I'm thinking, surely, if there's one day where the little details don't matter, it's the happiest day of your life. <laughs> if ever there's going to be a day where you're just going to let shit slide, it's the day you're distracted by how ecstatically happy you are. It's the happiest day of my life. I can't believe it's finally here. But his tie doesn't match her shoes. It's wrecked. I'm going home. <laughs> it's the happiest day of my life. I found her. I found the woman I love more than I ever even thought it possible to love another human being. And I'm standing up in front of the people she likes the best and the people she likes the best of the people I know. <laughs> Reese really liked that one, Claire. I just want to tell you, he really liked that one. But that's a happy day. Who cares if someone had the bad taste to put the wrong kind of flowers on the table centres? On a really happy day, little details do not matter. Case in point, right? I'm telling you this because it's a fact that helps my argument. I'm not trying to show off, I'm not trying to brag, I'm just telling you this to prove a point, OK? 13 years ago, in Adelaide, Australia, I had sex with two women at the same time. I know I don't strike you as a type, but it happened. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. I can't tell you for the life of me what I had for dinner that day. Thank you very much.